When Tony Stewart takes the wheel at Watkins Glen International this weekend, he'll return a different man. After what has been an incredibly trying period for the driver, emotionally, physically, and professionally. Exactly a year ago Saturday, Stewart, moonlighting as he so often has in a grassroots sprint car race, struck and killed fellow driver Kevin Ward Jr., who was approaching his car on the track under caution at Canandaigua Motorsports Park. A lengthy investigation revealed the 20-year-old Ward was under the influence of marijuana at the time of the incident, and Stewart was cleared of any culpability. That decision provided legal closure, but did nothing for the emotional toll. As Stewart would later say, the accident has affected him every day. He's barely spoken of the incident publicly since, although friends like A.J. Foyt say it has troubled him far more than many realize. A moment of silence will be held at Canandaigua on Saturday night before the return of the Empire Super Sprint Series, as the local racing community tries to remember and move on in its own way. And Stewart will also, presumably, again, privately, although we may never know for many years how well they all managed. <laughs>